Welcome, my name is Martin Kubino. I'm Principal Analyst at Kubino Co. Today I will talk about microservices in identity and access management. Microservices are uh, not that new concept anymore in software development. Basically, it's sort of using Lego bricks and constructing what you want to have. And most modern applications follow this concept, use this concept of microservices. So small services you can combine the way you need it, where you can add parts or you can remove parts, etc. Basically, this is a very good um, approach for doing software development because you then can also exchange the one or other brick um, by a new version, one that is more bright, more shiny, whatever. Um, so a lot of opportunities here. Um, we also see more and more identity and access management vendors um, working on moving existing products either to a microservices architecture or um, creating new offerings in a microservices architecture. And my strong belief is that um, looking at the architecture of a um, software you are procuring is essential. And I tell you why. So why is it so important not only to look at feature lists but also to architecture, at, ar at the architecture? And why is it so important to look at does this support microservices, which then are commonly deployed in what is called containers, where you can package one or more microservice into and then run in, a, in, in, in an execution environment. Why is this so important? So the first thing is, if you have something which runs in containers, you can run it virtually everywhere. So containers can run on a public um, cloud infrastructure, such, such as the ones of AWS or Microsoft Azure and others. It can run in private clouds. It can run in your own data centers. It even theoretically could run on a notebook. So containers give you a lot of flexibility. And if you then take this microservice approach, so you have a couple of containers, then you even might decide on which container runs where. So you can easily shift to a hybrid model. And that is something which, from my perspective, is a big advantage. It gives you flexibility in deployment following this architecture model. The second very important aspect is about the um, ability for an agile deployment. If the software is not a big monolithic chunk of software, but it's constructed as a set of microservices in containers, you potentially can add capabilities step by step. So, if you want to talk about agile deployment and identity management, then it also requires the right architecture. And that only can be a modern container-based, microservice-based architecture, which allows you then to add capabilities. The third element is a microservice needs to communicate with other microservices. So such as a Lego brick has the connections to other Lego bricks. A um, microservice has APIs which can be used by other microservices for communication. Um, by the way, it makes it pretty interesting to secure this because you need to secure the APIs, you need to secure the communication, etc. But that's a different story. So you have these APIs, you have the interfaces you can work against. That also means that every customization can rely on a defined set of exposed APIs. And communication, uh, communication, customization, additional capabilities are done in separate microservices. You can do them in an agile development manner. So following the DevOps approach, you have the same concept here. So it's easy to do customization well segregated from the tool. Done right, you will not end up in this, uh, these scenarios anymore where you want to move to the next release and you feel that all your customizations need to be redone because they use a consistent set of APIs and they are well segregated. So there are very clear advantages and that is why it's so important to look at what is, how is the architecture done of today's modern solutions in identity and access management. By the way, when we look at our key concepts of where is identity management heading, which we call identity fabric, then having container-based microservice architectures 
is a prerequisite for a modern identity fabric. So I have a strong belief this is the way to go. This is also what we see as the trend uh, nowadays in the market. So look also at the architecture, not at only at high level features, because that will give you the flexibility in deployment, in customization, and in the way you proceed in your project. Thank you for listening to me.